are out here looking for bouquet. We've heard that no false alarm. I've heard that there's some beautiful bouquet in this area, so let's go take a look. So what really is bouquet and where do you find it? And if you can't find it, how do you obtain it or create it? I see that many photographers refer to background blur or out of focus background as bouquet. But it really is more than background blur. I like Nikon's definition of what bouquet is and that is bouquet is defined as the effect of a soft out of focus background that you get when shooting a subject using a fast lens at the widest aperture. Another good definition is the way the lens renders out of focus points of light. So simply put, bouquet is the pleasing or aesthetic quality of out of focus blur in the background. Prime lenses can give you beautiful visible bouquet, especially when set to its widest aperture or close to it. You can see it more in the highlights of the background and it's affected by the shape of the diaphragm blades of the lens. So lenses that have a more circular shaped blades will give us more circular or rounder shaped orbs of out of focus highlights than a diaphragm that has more of a hexagon shape. So let's take a look at these two images here of a wedding cake. The first one here was taken using flash. I used a fill flash and it had a second light coming in from the left side as the main light. And we can see a little bit of reflection in the window that's behind the cake. And this first image was taken using the Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter lens set to 5.6. And it was taken from a Nikon crop sensor camera. And then look what happens on the next image as we're taking the same wedding cake, but here we're actually using just natural available light. And most of that light is coming from the candle. Then you can see that the cake is in the same place. And here we can start to see the little round orbs of light that are reflecting on that window that's right behind the cake. And this was taken using the 50 millimeter prime F 1.4 lens. And this particular photograph here, again taken with a 50 millimeter lens, but this time it was an f1.8 lens that was set to f2. And then, of course, we can see the little orbs of light. And here we can notice that those little orbs of light have like a hexagon shape to it. And the same with this image here, 50 millimeter at f1.8. We can see the little orbs behind it. And now we're using a 50 millimeter f1.4 lens. Now I can't remember what models these were, but this was the Nikkor 50 millimeter prime f1.4 lens. And if we look closer here behind the groom, we can see that these orbs of light are rounder. So here's a good example of seeing the different orbs or shapes that you get from the different lenses. There are even special lenses being manufactured that enhance the quality of bouquet. So without getting too technical and scientific, let's look at it from a photographer's point of view on how you can create more professional looking images as you begin to understand and are able to achieve bouquet. Number one is to use shallow focus techniques. These are techniques that you learn to isolate your subject or your object that you're photographing. And if you haven't learned these yet, now would be a great time to learn. So when you're using shallow focus techniques, you want to use a fast lens and you want to shoot wide open or as close to wide open that you can to get that beautiful bouquet. Bouquet occurs in parts of the scene that are beyond the depth of field. So in other words, out of focus. Then you also want to keep your background distant. So specular reflections and highlights that hit the background will show more visible bouquet. So when I'm doing a portrait and I want to isolate that subject, I want to use a lens that's going to give me those shallow focus techniques. So I want to use a lens that is 
long enough in a focal length that's going to give me less depth of field and I'm going to shoot wide open or close to it again. So let's look at a couple different images here. So when I'm looking to isolate the subject, I want to knock the background out of focus as much as I can because I want the attention to go right to that person or to the couple I'm photographing. And of course, having a nice, beautiful, soft, creamy, whatever you want to call it, bouquet is always a nice touch. And this particular portrait of this young lady we can see those those beautiful specular highlights that are hitting the the branches and, and the uh, leaves behind the subject, just giving us nice little orbs of bouquet. So let's look at another example using the Nikkor 70 to 200 millimeter lens, and here we're further back. Plus we're set to 70 millimeter here at f 2.8, and of course we're focused on the plate. And then here we can see that the background is a little out of focus, but there's no really nice bouquet to speak of. And then here we're zooming in closer. We're at 200 millimeter now, and I set the lens to f11, and look what happens even though the plate and the spoons are in focus. Even at f11, the background does go out of focus somewhat, but it's not a real pleasant looking background blur if you ask me. But watch what happens if we set it now to f2.8. Same lens, but we're zoomed all the way in again, the 200 millimeter. And then here we can see we're getting some nice bouquet and beautiful blur in the background. And in this bridal portrait here, we start with a full length. Same lens here was set to 82 millimeter, doing a full length. And we're setting the aperture all the way open at f2.8 and the subject is sharp and we're getting a little bit of background blur but not as much as we would if we were to zoom in closer like in this case now i'm zoomed to 150 millimeter same aperture f 2.8 and then here you can see we're already getting some nice background blur and a pleasant bouquet here and then as we zoom in all the way to 200 millimeter still f 2.8 you can see the beautiful blur and bouquet and this is just cropped in a little bit closer so you can see those beautiful soft orbs. So I wanted to see what kind of an effect we can get from the Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter f2.8 lens. And this was shot on the crop sensor Nikon. And then here you can see we're open up all the way f2.8, but we're not real close to these flowers yet. But we're getting sort of a nice background blur. And then watch what happens as I step in closer here, and I'm still set all the way zoomed to 75 millimeter, all the way open at f2.8. And then here we can see the orbs of bouquet just getting a little bit softer, nicer. So as we step in a little bit closer to the flowers, we're at the same setting, zoomed all the way 75 millimeter, open all the way. Look what happens to those little orbs of light in the background. They just take on more of a pleasing bouquet. So even before the word bouquet existed in our vocabulary, we knew the importance of background blur and what's known as circles of confusion. We also had different companies that made different cameras and lenses that offered special self-focus techniques and diffusion to give you all the variety that the portrait photographers were looking for. So now that you know what bouquet is, where to find it, and even how to create it, you should be able now to go out and do some really awesome portraits. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.